Now over to Mark. And you've got some posh Scotch eggs in the menu this morning. Yeah, you keep calling them posh Scotch eggs, but they're just quail eggs. They're mini ones. Oh, that's posh. posh. quite cute, aren't they? Yeah. It's not posh. It is posh. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we've got on the menu today. We've got Scotch eggs. That's a favourite from the UK. Beautiful uh, mince mix here. We're going to spice it up. We're going to cook these, soft boil these. There is a massive technique in these, so I'm going to be cooking these later, not Mike. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make them, and then we've got this beautiful hollandaise sauce on the side. So this has been inspired by a friend uh, back in the UK. Unfortunately, she's uh, just got cancer, um, but she's turned to food to take her mind off it. So she's got a blog. So if you go to our Facebook page, you can uh, check out a blog and... Um, see what she's up to and it's just a you know it's a great way of taking a mind off it so that's what we're going to be making later on in the show now it's over to mel great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and this recipe is inspired by one of your close friends who's having a really hard time mark yeah which yeah. is not good it's but i tell good. you what can i just say you've either got a very small chicken or this is not a chicken <laughs> egg <laughs> no no so this is a quail egg right so just uh, yeah just think of it as a mini chicken really but tastier okay nice uh, and cute little eggs so it's fantastic are they so expensive uh, oh, 10 bucks to 12. Yeah, so That's pretty good, actually. That's probably cheaper than normal eggs, to be honest. Yeah, but uh, like a tenth of the size. Okay, so well, probably not. Well, that's but why they are we... really nice, so definitely worth doing this. Well, that's and, why we're calling And then you get posh. to eat more of them because they're smaller. Oh, good. There you go. You're thinking of us. Right, so what do we need to do right, to prepare? So this, is, this is probably the most important step of yes. the dish, right? So we want to soft um, boil these eggs, mm -hmm. and then we're going to peel them, and that's going to be the centre of our scotched egg. So, big bowl of ice. Okay. Water. You sure you don't want me to do this? Boiling. No, I've got this, Mike. Okay. I've... <laughs> <laughs> right, so boiling water and yeah. a timer. You need to have a timer, okay? okay. So I've got all that set up. Right, oh, so your, two minutes, 20 now. seconds. <laughs> two minutes, 20. Is the key number, right? So I'm going to pop them in. Yes. And it only goes up in minutes, right? So okay. you need to count to 20 and then tell me and I'll okay, press it. Okay, cool. Okay, three, two, one, go. One. Two, I don't three. need to get out loud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know when it's on 20. Right, so pretty much it goes in boiling water, lots of boiling water, eggs go in, so it's still, when you put the eggs in, it boils straight away, so it is cooking straight away after that. Yeah, go. And, oh, Two minutes. <laughs> right, go. Good. Right, so the timer's on. So when the timer goes off, the eggs want to be in the ice water, so it's literally down to the seconds. OK. Um, Precision. It is, it is. Right, so <laughs> as it's cooking, we're going to make the... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's true. No, no, well, I'm is. pleased going to do something, because I thought I can't sit here and watch an egg boil for two <laughs> minutes. What mince have we got there? Right, so we're going to use uh, two different types of mince. So we've got some beef mince, nice uh, sort of rich, deep flavour, and we've got some pork mince as well, which is going to soften it. Mm. and uh, make it not so uh, meaty, you know? So you've got the extra fat in the pork mince, right? I so love a good scotch egg too, so this is oh, good. Oh, it's great. And, th and, and that's your key for a nice juicy egg, is uh, using your pork mince as well, right? Okay. So two different types of mince yep. uh, in there. We've got some chopped onions. Yep. We're going to put in there. Nice. And a little bit of garlic as well. Okay. So that all goes in. We've got some herbs as well, which I'm going to put in. I'm just going to check the time. 110. 110. You can see this is a very, very important step. Oh, we've got an issue. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Right, yeah. pasta goes in, some yes. chives. Right, so you want to be watching this timer. So in exactly 50 seconds, 50 seconds now, the, the eggs want to all be going in the ice. Right? Okay. So there's the ice. Mm -hmm. I've got a sieve over by the sink. Nice. Right, I'll put your ice over there. Oh, yes. So you've got to count how many seconds it's going to take to the sink, pour it out and get it into the ice. And it's got to be... Bang on time. Woo. Okay, Otherwise, you're going to ruin the whole recipe. <laughs> oh, don't put that on me. <laughs> OK, see, so what are you chopping out there? Right, some chives. Chives. So if your yep. chives go in, um, we've got a little bit of mustard as well. Yes. So some nice English mustard, nice bit of heat in there, and some nutmeg as well. <laughs> Jeez, I'm feeling the pressure. OK. <laughs> 17 don't seconds. Don't mess it up. Oh. OK. So we've got some nutmeg. I'm just going to grate in fresh nutmeg. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Nice little uh, sort of key. Try and get it in the bowl. Oh, oh, quick, quick. <laughs> right, that is the timer. Are they in the ice water? And now. So it's about three, three seconds over. So oh. if, it's, uh, if, it, if, it, okay. if it doesn't work... It's all my why. fault. OK. Right, so go. good amount of salt and pepper in there. And it's a good idea. Make your mix. Mm -hmm. you know, put a decent amount of salt and pepper in there and then just fry a little bit off and then you can taste it. OK, great. Um, and then if it needs more seasoning, you can put it in, because once you do the egg, you're not going to be able to season it. A couple of eggs are going in there now. Yep. And a little bit of flavoured oil. So just use some nice olive oil, just about a tablespoon 
of that. Um, just moistens it, gives it some extra flavour. Any flavouring of oil you want, and that's a little chilli oil in there. Nice, you know, okay, good. Use a herb oil. So and mix then, it all together. Yeah, mix it all together so it's nice and bind. Check the seasoning, and yep. then we're ready for our next stage. Okay, brilliant. Well, we'll come back and we'll get rolling these eggs and making that hollandaise just after we catch up with Holly. First, we need to finish up these scotch eggs. So where are we up to the issue quail egg? You ready? I'm just checking if they're all right. Are you? Yeah, no. Nah. Um, <laughs> right, so they're in nice water. So I'll give it a minute or so um, to chill down. And then just get your egg, and then the bottom of the egg, um, just give it a slight tap. So tap the bottom. Yeah, and then you can get into the skin. All right, so there's a little pocket down yeah. there which allows you to get your finger down. Yeah, you, you can get in there and then just peel it around. There's a little membrane on the... Uh, in the egg. Oh yeah. And if you get like underneath that, yeah. Yep. If you get underneath that membrane, it just pulls all the uh, shell off. Nice. So just be careful. Make sure you've got it as a nice egg like that. Look at Give that. It a little squeeze so that is beautifully soft boiled. So nice well done. work. Okay, good. It's got the timing right. right. So we uh, pre cooked some before just nice. to speed it up, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite sure if they were going to be. <laughs> okay, and I don't want to be spending that time peeling them. So yeah, exactly. Now that we've got exactly. that sorted, and right. just ready to go. Yeah. So in your hands, just get a little bit of the mince, flatten it out. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and even, and pop your egg in there, mm. and then just... Well, this will be... This looks difficult. <laughs> it's a little bit technical. If you need a bit more, just pop it on the top. Oh, okay. And then just make sure it's all covered. Brilliant. And then just get it in your hand, sort of give it a little roll around. Make sure the egg's nicely in the middle. Okay. And there you go. Nice. And then if you get into that stage, you can pop them in the fridge for about half an hour. They'll firm up a little bit and it'll be easier to pané them. And then that, we've got all the ingredients there because I know you love doing that job. Yeah, I do. Uh, so flour, egg, and then into the panko crumbs and then they're ready to go in the deep fryer. Okay, and nice. Then, so I'm going to leave you with this. I am going to make the hollandaise sauce. Okay, so I get rolling. Yep. With my little yep. quail eggs. Yeah, there's some flour as well. Okay, cool, thank right, you. Right, so hollandaise sauce is... Do you know what hollandaise sauce is? Yes, it is egg and butter. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, so it's really good. <laughs> and so I love it. That's it, so it's egg yolks. Um, so basically we're making a hot mayonnaise. Uh, so we've got the egg yolks to bind it and the fat is going to be melted butter. We've got a little... So egg yolks in there and a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar. Yeah. And then we're going to cook it over a pan of simmering water. Uh, so that's a bain-marie, and we want to cook the eggs so they get nice and thick. Don't okay. cook them too much to the uh, they cook and curdle, just before they they curdle, so they're nice and thick. And then okay. it's like they a all have to be the same size because we're going to cook them for a <laughs> set amount of time on there. There you go. And Let's patch it up. It's all good. If, if they're too big, they will still be raw in the centre. Okay, good. No, I think this is good. But then you can just mould them. It's yep. looking good. No, no, yeah, it's looking good. Okay, is that about the right size? Oh, probably slightly bigger. But, oops. <laughs> that, oh, wow. It's a hen's egg one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's good. It's, and practice makes perfect. That's right, you know? and I'm going to keep practicing. So, hollandaise is really important sauce to make. You've got to get it right. So, talk us through that, because yep, yep. I want to so, make, make a good hollandaise. So you, so, you can see just after sort of a minute or so of whisking, so it's quite hot, so just be careful. Good heat at the beginning is quite good, but as you start to get the, the egg yolks are cooking and gets thicker, you want to sort of control that heat. But you can see I've got lots of air in there, it's starting to get thicker, and we're nearly at that stage where we can slowly add the butter. Because you could end up scrambling the eggs, couldn't you? You well, don't yeah, want to do yeah. that. So you run the risk at this stage now of scrambling the eggs, yep. and then once we take it off, if your butter's too cold, it'll probably split. Um, if you add the butter too fast, it'll probably split, so it's quite hard to not get it to split. Oh, it's looking to good. Get it. Yeah, so you get to that stage now, take it off the heat, put it somewhere steady, on a tea towel or into here, so it's not going to go anywhere. And then very, very slowly, just dribble it in, and you just whisk in all the time, little bit by little bit, until it takes on all that butter and starts to thicken. And then we'll season it, a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice to finish, and it'll be a nice, thick, glossy sauce. Right, well, I'm taking a while to get the scotch eggs done well, but I'm getting there, and I know yours is a little smaller than mine. <laughs> and my oh, balls good, are getting bigger as we go, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but we will fix that. Uh, that hollandaise is looking fantastic. If you want a link and help out your friend and see her recipes, we're going to put yep. all the links on our Facebook and thecafe.co.nz. OK, Mark, it's time to find out how your scotch eggs are looking, how they turn out. Well, pretty good, actually. You did cook them really well. So good. you see them, we just cut them in half. The mince is cooked, still nice and runny and ready to serve with that beautiful oh, tangy hollandaise. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, so how Look do you do that? Because you want the mince cooked but the eggs runny. That's tricky. Yeah. Uh, skill. Skill? Okay, <laughs> what, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got the best chorizo sandwich we'll ever have. Oh.